Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to build a loft apartment in a former factory building. Let's take a look at the size of the building. As you can see it's quite large. We will also need a lot of building materials. The main wall of the building is made of red brick, which was specially brought from India by ship back in 1928. Just look at what a massive wall we have, 17 blocks high and 14 blocks long, it is strong enough to withstand even two floors and heavy factory equipment. Part of the brick wall continues to the rear of the building, forming a niche for the main fireplace of the factory, which will allow heating a large room with firewood. It sounds just great. Factory workers will definitely not freeze in winter, they will be very comfortable working in our building. The back wall forms the slope of the roof, which descends once every three blocks by one block down. The architect of the project ordered the second building material directly from Australia, acacia wood, this is the hardest material of all hardwoods, perfect for our walls. Almost the entire left wall of our building is made of acacia logs, 9 blocks high and 10 blocks wide. Let's leave 3 free blocks for a window and complete the wall. The left part of the front wall is also made of acacia logs. Nine blocks high and eight wide. High windows should be implemented in the right part of the front wall according to the project. Well, let's place black glass frames. Each frame is capable of firmly holding glass seven blocks high. and the window sill is made of polished blackstone. The upper part of the window frame is made of polished blackstone wall. Place it on top. Separate the window frames of different floors using polished blackstone blocks. Let's continue to build the front wall of acacia logs, form a roof slope. Do you remember when we left a space in the third wall? It's time to place a large window, it will allow you to fill the main space with natural light even more. Use black stained glass panels to fill the frame. It's time to build a sturdy roof for our building. It should be strong enough to shelter from rain and snow. The main material for the roof is polished blackstone. To support the roof slope, we will use polished blackstone wall, attach the roof support directly to the wall. Don't forget the windows in your attic, place black stained glass panels directly into the new window frames. Thank you. 
Just look at how large the roof area is. Don't forget to place the roof support along the edge of the wall. In this part of the building, the architect decided to place a large balcony area with large windows. Wow, so much space inside, the building really looks huge. Time to finish the windows and start decorating the balcony. Place window frames similar to other windows. The main flooring material for the balcony is stripped birch log, brought directly from Russia. These logs have traveled halfway across the earth to benefit the new factory building. There are still so many windows without glass, we need to place black stained glass as soon as possible before it starts to rain. These glass panels were produced on the other side of the country, the craftsmen took a long time and carefully created each panel by hand. Dark glass panels will add mystery and elegance to the window frame according to the architect's idea. One of the main advantages of this solution is the possibility of creating a thermal insulation effect in space. The panels have a special coating that allows you to keep warm indoors on cold days and protect from sunlight in hot weather. This will not only reduce energy costs for heating and air conditioning, but also create a comfortable climate. When placing the panels, be sure to leave space for passage. Wow! Look at the plan, we need to build another building on the right. What a lot of work, we will need more brick blocks. First, let's build the big wall, which will bear the brunt of the load from the roof. Eight blocks high and don't forget to leave a passageway. The roof support should be placed, as in the main building, along the perimeter of the walls. Between the buildings it is necessary to build a passage. In our project it serves not just for the movement of people and transportation of equipment, but will provide an opportunity for communication and interaction between people working in different parts of the building. The architect suggested making the transition a decorative element and adding more original finishing materials. The next important stage is the construction of the roof. It will provide protection from weather conditions, be strong enough and stylish enough. We made the roof out of polished blackstone. Make the roof like steps, three blocks wide. The front wall of the second building will have a floor-to-roof window. Like the previous building, it will be made of polished blackstone wall. Place a 4 block wide window frame and add black stained glass. And decorate the rest of the wall with acacia logs from floor to roof.
The second wall consists of acacia logs for blocks wide and a large window in the middle. The entire last wall is acacia logs. Hurry! We have to finish it to meet the deadline. Add the last elements of the roof to make it look good. And we also need to place the acacia logs so that the walls don't collapse under the load. Place three logs, make a gap of two blocks between them. Oh, the building still has no flooring, we need to remove the lawn and put down strip birch log. The suppliers assured me that the new flooring would definitely last a long time. It's time to officially open the passage to another part of the building, but for now it looks like a wall on platform 9 and 3 quarters. It seems that we need to remove a couple of bricks so that we can pass. In this room we also need to make a floor, the lawn, of course, is very beautiful and soft, but it does not suit us. That's better. Stripped birch log suits this room much more, just a little more and you can place the equipment of the new factory and call the workers. Look at what a beautiful building we have got, large windows let in a lot of light, Expensive materials look just amazing, imported bricks and wood for construction waited more than a year. I can't even believe we did it, let's open the factory soon. In 1930, in the tiny town of Tor Lake, a factory called Shiny Buttons was opened. It was a very special factory that specialized in creating stunningly bright and shiny buttons of various sizes and shapes. The people of the town were proud that their shiny buttons were known throughout the state and even far beyond. However, over time, fashions changed and the demand for buttons gradually began to decline. Unfortunately, the factory was unable to adapt to the new demands and closed down. Alas, such things happen, but even in the darkest times of fate there is a spark of hope. After several years of being empty, the architect decided to revive the abandoned factory building and turned it into a stylish loft apartment. The architect's plan is to turn the former button packing room into a large indoor swimming pool right in the house, wow!
We have already placed comfortable sunbeds, provided a separate shower cubicle and hung soft towels. Let's add some designer chandeliers. The light from modern chandeliers will reflect beautifully in the water. But first you need to build the pool bowl. For this ambitious task, it is necessary to remove some of the flooring and place white tiles. Then form the steps. The pool doesn't seem to be deep at all, it is absolutely impossible to swim in it. Need to make it much deeper. The pool bowl is finished, it's time to fill it with water. For 1000 cubic meters holds our 25 meter pool. The first room is completed, there is still a lot of work left. The workers have already delivered the furniture for the living room. We decided to add more cozy details to this room. We placed live plants in pots and hung shelves for decoration. The paintings for the project were purchased from a contemporary artist in Detroit, luckily they were not stolen, we checked. There is so much free space, a large sofa will fit here. The laconic design of the sofa suits our loft style interior. Accent edging emphasizes the geometry of shapes and the inherent strictness of the style. There are no unnecessary details, everything is functional. Coffee table, looks light, made of spruce trapdoor. The pot of the main plant of the room is decorated with the same material. It is not by chance that this large plant adorns the living room. It is a young acacia tree, the logs of which were used to build the factory building. The sturdy walls can still support the weight of two floors. Another functional element of the living room is a large fireplace. The space is protected from open fire by tinted glass. The main finishing material is stone. The architect decided to diversify the finishing materials and add smooth quartz blocks to one of the accent walls, this will add lightness to the room, make it more airy. Modern art looks great on the resulting wall. We use the same material to form a ceiling structure in which we will place lighting elements, Attach supporting beams made of acacia logs. This will be the foundation of the second floor. We continue the construction of the ceiling structure to the opposite wall.
the result looks good. In this place, a kitchen island will appear very soon, into which we have integrated a dining table made of spruce trapdoor. Semi-double chairs for guests are also made of this material. It looks very expensive. Lots of cooking surfaces, integrated sink, natural materials. All kitchen furniture is made to order. The hidden illumination of the cooking surface is integrated into the kitchen wall decoration. The finishing material is quartz bricks, we ordered from France, each tile is handmade. We had to use a whole team of tellers to lay the tiles. Almost 50 boxes of tiles were used for such a large area. To accommodate the integrated kitchen set, we had to build additional drywall structures on the ceiling and wall on the left. It also serves as a separation of the kitchen area and the hallway. In such a kitchen, it is simply impossible not to love cooking. For a large family, you will need a lot of food, for convenience we have placed two kitchen stoves. The facades are decorated with natural marble, and the handles were ordered on AliExpress. Just look, well, who's to say that they don't look like real silver? Use this life hack to save your budget. We did not save money on the kitchen hood, we installed the most powerful one from the catalog of the manufacturer of German equipment. It is so powerful that 20% of the budget of the entire kitchen has been sucked into it. The homesteaders have prepared the decor for the kitchen, a set of frying pans, spice jars and plates. Everything was bought at IKEA. The rooms on the first floor are already ready, it's time to mount the second floor, but for this we will need a staircase. For the installation, we had to install plasterboard structures to strengthen the walls, integrate lighting. The base for the stairs is acacia logs. The space under the stairs will not be used for the nephew's accommodation, we will place roomy chests there. I'm sure everything will fit in them. The stairs are made of polished blackstone stairs, a lightweight but durable material. Part of the flooring on the second floor will be made of smooth quartz. In the master bedroom area, stripped birch logs were decided to be laid as a floor covering. There are sections between the floors that look unfinished. We will complete the missing finishing elements from smooth quartz. The area of the attic floor without finishing looks too rough, 
you can see the supporting structures of the old building and part of the roof. In order to combine the floors with each other, we have completed the decoration of the walls and ceiling in the staircase area. In this small area we will place a master bathroom, a large sink three blocks wide, a mirror with backlight. The homesteaders have prepared the decor for the sink, some scented candles and soft towels. A large freestanding bathtub with a hydro massage function can accommodate two people at once. The tub is so big and heavy that we had to lift it with a construction crane through the window. The bathroom partition is made of silk in Japanese style. To add more lightness to our space, the architect decided to extend the decoration to a part of the ceiling in the master bedroom. It was decided to leave the load-bearing beams made of acacia logs. Such a large space of the master bedroom is able to accommodate a lot of furniture that we wanted to order in Italy. Unfortunately, the order was not registered because they have a siesta. I had to order replicas from China. The famous armchair by designer Suen Hui Chai, and a spacious wardrobe for three people were delivered literally within 30 days. The boxes were slightly dented, but the furniture was not damaged. Despite the low price, many interesting materials were used to decorate the wardrobe. Metal inserts and tinted glass looks very expensive. Bedside tables and even USB-C charging connectors on each side are integrated into the headboard. 12 pillows and an elongated mattress, you can even sleep across the bed. There is so much space that three people can fit at once. We placed a small dressing table and a mirror by the window. Homestagers have added roomy shelves above the headboard. The future owners of the house can store family photos and souvenirs from Turkey and Egypt on them. The Costiglione brothers' bedside lamp was used as decorative lighting. For comfort, we placed books and scented candles on the surfaces, and planted flowers from the neighbor's garden in a vintage pot. The last space left without renovation is the balcony. To get there, we installed a large glass door. It doesn't look too safe to be there without a fence, we'll have to install it urgently. It is convenient to spy on neighbors through the glass panels of the fence, at the same time it is safe not to fall from the balcony. To annoy the neighbors with the aroma of juicy, fried steaks, we installed two sections of the grill and not a single section of the hood. But we have provided convenient shelves for seasonings and spices. An excellent tan, like on the beach, is possible without leaving home, for this we have placed comfortable sun beds. The fire of button production, which used to warm the hearts of local residents, has turned into various recreation and social areas for the loft residents. Once rumbling mechanisms have become decorative elements or unusual sculptures, and work desks have turned into stylish bar counters and dining areas. Every detail in the shining buttons loft recalls the bright heritage of the factory. Thus, the empty factory in the town of Twirlek has become a place where new residents can live in history, enjoy the splendor of the restored building and at the same time create their own bright and brilliant stories. Previously empty cold rooms are now filled with comfort, modern furniture and appliances from all over the world. I would also like to thank the designers and homestagers who took part in this project. And this, my dear friend, is a story that contains the treasure of transformation and resurrection.